<laughs> you too what's up let's talk about this right quick money doesn't make you better than anyone what do i mean by that you know what i've heard a lot of and it gets kind of annoying after a while is when people do things that are terrible and morally corrupt it's okay as long as you got money in the end that is not the way things go it's the big thing that we heard about Jordan Belfort. Even after you probably watched the movie or read the book, you there's people who still idolize him because they don't care that he ruined tons of lives. They just saw the fun that he got to have, all the strippers he got to have, all the people he got to uh, <laughs> do things with. He just lived a life of absolute moral corruption. He knew he was screwing people over. He knew he was ruining people's lives. He didn't care because at the end of the day, he was getting money. And that's what you see a lot in the scams that you see today. A lot of these people who run these scams and they have to come out and apologize, <laughs> you know, and we know that all they cared about was the money. Now, can people change their lives to realize what they're doing? Of course they can, but nobody really cares because as long as let's say I run a scam right now and I get a hundred thousand dollars out of it. And then I use that hundred thousand dollars to show you guys how rich I am. And then I tell you guys, to buy my course and you guys buy my course and I make more money. Now, some of that money going to get ripped away from me if I get found out, of course. But at the end of the day, I'm still going to have a lot of the things I had because you guys keep paying me for courses because I appeal rich to you. Now, some people will say that I did okay, even though I what I did was wrong and I got my money the wrong way. It doesn't matter. The ends to the means is I'm not, now I'm still rich. I'm still rich. People, people are going to care about who I am because... I got famous off of doing something terrible and now I'm rich as heck. That's what we I get so sick of. And I always got to push it to, you know, people who people who scam and people who sell their bodies. The end goal to get money is not worth the moral corruption that you have to go through. I don't care what I have to do in this world. If it's a choice between being and hear me out here first. If it's a choice between being broke and being morally right, I'm going to pick morally right. But hear me out. I'm not saying that if you're broke, you're living morally right. I do want to say that just because you're broke does not mean you're living morally correct. Okay. Those are not two things that go together. But what I am saying is that we shouldn't glorify people who got money through corrupt ways. Okay. If they're doing something that is morally wrong, you shouldn't praise them and be like, well, they got to the back. Because that's the biggest argument I get when I argue towards People have no problem when I argue towards scams. People are all for me. Yes, yes, yes. But when I say something about OnlyFans, oh, they, they get in the uproar. It's not even OnlyFans. I'm using OnlyFans as a placeholder. I'm not talking about OnlyFans. I'm talking about any kind of industry like that. Prostitution, pornography, um, selling your body, being a stripper, any of that. I just say OnlyFans because most people will know what I'm talking about when I say OnlyFans. And those are the people I see get praised the most. Okay. Oh, but they got to the bag, but their lives are ruined. They ruined other people's lives. They ruined their own lives. They had to morally give up everything just to do this one thing, just to get money. Money is not the end all be all. That's what I'm trying to get to. Money isn't everything. Money is a great thing and a great tool that you can use for, to do great things. But it's not to the point where you should screw your whole life up for it. You shouldn't have to go, man, I'm just going to do whatever I got to do to get a quick buck. Because so many of the people I see doing that now, that's why so many people get fooled into these uh, get rich quick screams. That's how, why so many people get. Um, that's why so many people get fooled into following these quick rich get rich quick schemes. That's why so many man, it's just so frustrating. Because I remember myself, I fell for the same thing when I was in my twenties. I used to get scammed. I've got scammed a, a couple times because I wanted to make money fast. I remember quitting my job. And this is the thing we heard about the other day in that Dan Locke video. When we were talking about Dan Locke and how many people quit their jobs in order to um, work for Dan Locke because he was a scam. I did the same thing. I quit my job because I thought I was going to make all this money. I was going to be this guy. And I have a, it's the mentality you don't understand. You don't get it. See, what I'm doing is I'm putting it all on the line. I don't have a plan B. I'm going to get out here. I'm going to make money. You're going to be jealous that you're still working a nine to five. And I'm going to be out here getting this brand because I believe it. Even though I have no skills in business, 
I have no skills of running a business. I have no skills of earning money. I have no idea how I'm going to earn the money. I just believe. And I'm going to buy this guy's course for $250 a month. <laughs> and he's going to teach me how to make money. And then I get into the course and it's like, all right, step number one. Okay. You're going to need to open up this, this, that, this, 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 and with this and that and this and this. And it's easy, baby. <laughs> and then in step two, you need to really what it becomes, guys, most of those get rich quick screens, get rich quick schemes. Hey, I'm going to quit saying that. But the people who want to get cash first, most of the courses are just a, a funnel. Most of them are a funnel, which means you work for another company. So a company pays you to have people funnel to their thing, if that makes sense. So let's say I run a pants company. I will uh, pay you to open up a course, right? Open up a course that teaches people all this stuff. But at the end of it, it's sending them to my business where I sell this kind of thing. It's not going to be pants. It's going to be more like a uh, Amazon. It's going to teach you. It's going to be like a drop shipping company. It's going to be like a, uh, yeah, pretty much drop shipping. That's what it normally turns into drop shipping or running an Instagram with no face or running a YouTube, no face. That's what it normally turns to it. You end up working for a company and I make videos. I don't show my face. I just put up compliment, you know, TikTok videos. I just put up random videos and you never see my face. That's a new thing on YouTube is people who y'all see those all the time. People who just put up videos and they never show their face. You don't know anything about them. They don't talk at all. And that's what's getting promoted a lot on YouTube now, even though you can't do that on YouTube, you can't put up other people's content like the NBA and all that kind of stuff and then not show your face ever. Right. And all you're doing is taking content from other people's videos and making money off of it. That's that's not right. YouTube will ban you eventually, but nobody cares. It's all about making money, even though you're stealing other people's property. It's one thing if you use somebody's video and you're reacting to it and providing commentary and you use 30 minutes of their video and your video is five hours long. Okay. The, the bulk majority of the video isn't theirs. You made a four, four and a half hours. You talked about a 30 minute video. I've done that where I made two, three hour video and I've only talked about 15 minute clip. That's fair. But stealing other people's property is so mind bottling. It's so mind bottling. Bottling. Stop trying to get rich quick. Don't let your morals fall to get money. Money is beautiful, but it is not worth giving it all up for. It's not worth, man, listen, it is not worth ruining other people's lives. It's not. You people don't get it. You people who run these stupid little scams and think it's all cool. But if somebody falls for it and then your only fallback is, oh, well, they should have known. You idiot. You schemed them into it. If you didn't think it was going to work, you wouldn't have done it. You don't manipulate people and go find people who are poor. Go find people who are struggling, people who are at their last leg and then say, I'm going to make you this much money and then think you're not in the wrong if they fall for it because they were so damn desperate. That's not right. So quit using that as a lie because people who get quick, people who do that kind of stuff to get money fast, who do they target normally? People who are broke or people who don't understand what's going on. That's who they target. You don't find a whole lot of people who are trying to get rich and then they target rich people first. They normally target poor people first or people who don't have a lot. And then they may move up to richer people because now they have the money from all these poor people to do this thing. It's the same stupid thing we see when you see people who make money off of people who don't have much. When you see people so stupid. When you see people who are rich off of YouTube, people who are rich off of tw uh, Twitch, they're getting money from the average person, right? They are. And then they turn right the F around and then flaunt that same money in front of their face. I don't have a problem with a company getting money when they're supplying something, but to throw the money back in their face makes no sense. When these people who get rich off these YouTubes and all that, and they get in their fancy cars and they're like, oh yeah, I got it like this. I got it like that. It's like, you're mad. Why are you flaunting it that to the people you know don't have money like that? The only reason you have money like that is because they were willing to give you money because they found you cool. They found you entertaining. So don't turn the F around and throw money in their faces if they're broke. It's the same thing you see with OnlyFans models when they turn around and then call the men and women that are paying for their nude photos and calling them broke and be like, well, you can't do this. Or the same thing you see with some Twitch streamers, man or woman. We've seen both of them do it. 
say, hey, you can't give me $5? Are you broke? Motherfucker, I'm the reason you got money in the first place. How are you going to sit here and tell me I'm broke and you're making money off the average burger flipper at McDonald's? What the hell are you talking about? I'm broke. And you're going to tell me I deserve to give you money? That's what I'm saying. There are some great streamers out there who do great with their money and they never beg for money. And if, they, if you give the money, even if it's $5, they're grateful. Those are the kind of streamers you should follow and keep following them. But never have any of these people, not an OnlyFans model who I find morally corrupt anyway. Don't find anybody who's a Twitch streamer or a YouTube streamer. Don't let any of them ever put you down for not having enough money. If they do that, you stop following them. I don't care how entertaining they are. They don't give a F about you. You are just a dollar sign. You will always be a dollar sign to them, okay? Don't do it. I don't care who he is. I don't care if he's the biggest freaking streamer you've ever seen in your life. If they ever make you feel like crap because you don't have enough money, you stop it. You don't deserve to be bullied into giving people money. That's the choice you make on a platform, okay? Just remember that, please. You too. Peace.